हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज लवलेश गांगिल फ्रॉम श्री वैष्णव इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फॉरेंसिक साइंस इंदौर आई एम स्पीकिंग ऑन द टॉपिक आईआर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ लाइट फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट द वेवलेंथ गॉट गेट्स लॉन्गर टू शॉर्टर एंड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट द फ्रिक्वेंसी गेट्स हाइयर सो फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द विजिबल लाइट द फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट द विजिबल लाइट इंक्रीजेज frequency of visible light increases and uh, the uh, higher at the higher frequency the ultraviolet ray, uh, light is there and from at uh, the lower frequency infrared uh, light is there infrared radiation is the type of electromagnetic radiation such as uh, radio waves ultra uh, ultraviolet rays x rays and microwave so uh, infrared is the part of electromagnetic spectrum that people encounter most in the everyday life Although much of it goes unnoticed, as it is not seen by naked eyes, it is uh, unnoticed by naked eyes. In the infrared region, the limit of la- red light is up to 800 nanometer. In near infrared, it is 0.8 to 2.5 micrometer. Mid infrared is uh, up from 2.5 to 50 micrometer, and the far infrared is from 50 uh, micro micrometer to 1000 micrometer. Higher spectroscopy is based on the principle of higher absorption. It is by molecules. Uh, higher absorption is done by molecules which undergo vibrational and rotational vibration transitions. For a molecule to absorb higher, the vibration or rotation within a molecule must cause a net change in the dipole moment of a molecule. Every molecule has a specific dipole moment. Every uh, whenever they absorb the higher light, they perform a specific dipole moment. there is a sudden change in their dipole moment which is unique for every atom every particle and every mm, subject now the molecular rotations and vibrations the positions of atom in a molecule are not fixed they are subject to number of different vibrations every molecule has different vibration as a molecule has many degrees of freedom as the total deg- degree of freedom of its individual atoms each atom has 3 degrees of freedom correspondence to its cartesian coordinates it is on the x y and z coordinate these are the types of the vibrational motions first is bending then symmetric stretching and asymmetric stretching and rotational motions are in the mm, clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction these are the transitional motions also bending vibrations these are in plane rocking in plane seizing out of plane wagging and out of plane twisting This is the IR spectroscopy graph of bromomethane and this is the IR spectroscopy graph of formaldehyde by this we can measure that the every uh, atom and every compound has different IR spectroscopy graph which can be which can be found uh, different and unique by which we can find out which atom is there and which molecule is there here is the instrumentation of IR spectroscopy first is the light source then uh, the light source has some conditions which which is it must produce ir radiation can't used uh, uh, glass since uh, it absorbs ir radiation several possible types of light source are there non slower rare earth metal oxides u- used like zirconium uh, cerulean thorium global silicon carbon gold there is a wire source carbon dioxide laser and other mercury arc then there is detectors thermal detector photoconducting detector pyroelectric detector other compounds uh, such as uh, sample cell and monochromator it is also very necessary in the instrumentation these all combine as a instrumentation of ir spectroscopy forensic application of ir spectroscopy ir spectroscopy is very important in the perspective of forensic first it is done for uh, qualitative analysis for the compound identification any compound is there by uh, uh, by any compound we can identify through its ir spectroscopy that which type of compound is there what is the compound and what is the amount of compound present uh, on the crime scene qualitative and quantitative analysis not as good as uv in terms of accuracy and precision it is more complex spectra narrower bands the limitations of ir instruments high background ir a difficult to match reference and sample cells ink analysis is also done for handwriting examination through ir spectroscopy by ir spectroscopy we can also analyze alcohol 
if the uh, by the any breath if any person uh, has taken alcohol it, it it's uh, that person's breath can tell us uh, about uh, that person breaths can tell us that person has taken alcohol or not by the breath analyzer that can tell uh, through ir spectroscopy thank you very much uh, i hope you like my slide please like subscribe and share